Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, Mariah is back on the channel. We have not done her hair since October of last year. So today, we're obviously gonna be doing her hair and the color we're gonna be doing is like a forest emerald green. I'm very excited. It's not gonna be a total makeover because there's not a lot that I need to do in order to achieve that because she already has blue hair and we're staying in the realm of like the cool tone family. So it'll be pretty simple. So what we have to start off doing is bleaching her roots, seven months of regrowth. So we have to go ahead and bleach these. So what I'm gonna do is apply the lightener here, let it sit and then go back in and put it on her scalp because I obviously don't want the lightener sitting on her scalp for the full amount of time. So I've already mixed up the lightener right here. We are using L'Oreal Quick Blue and I'm just using 20 volume developer. I'm very excited. Are you excited? Very. <laughs> Okay, so part of this is going to be voiceover and the other part is just going to be some music. I just like to do voiceovers to give you guys some tips and tricks and explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I just want to explain a little bit on why I like to go through and put it on the mid shafts before I put it on her scalp area. So when you have a client or if you're doing someone's hair at home, it's important not to put it on the scalp and put it everywhere all at the same time. When the hair grows out past a certain length, it keratinizes which means it has like a harder coating on it basically and so you want to make sure you break through that coating first and the first like half inch to inch of her regrowth doesn't have that hard built up keratin yet so it's going to lift way faster than her mid shaft so always go in and apply it on the mid shaft area first if they have this much regrowth and then I like to sit and watch it until it gets to about a level seven or eight and then I go ahead and go back in and apply it on her scalp area. As you saw, I started in the back of her head and I normally like to do that because for most people, the hair in the back of your head is darker than the hair around your face and in the crown area. Those are the areas that are getting the most sunlight and are naturally going to lighten. Also, a lot of people are generally just darker in the back of their head. So I like to start there because it's normally darker so it's gonna take a little bit more time to lift. So I went ahead and applied it on this mid shaft right here. You can see it's not on her roots yet. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a while and watch it. And once it's light enough, I'll go ahead and put it on her roots. One thing I wanna say is there is no certain amount of time you should be leaving the bleach on your friend or whoever's hair you're doing. The instructions might say leave up to 60 minutes or up to 45 minutes but every single person's hair is going to process differently and need a different amount of time. So normally what I like to do is go ahead and let the hair process for like 15 to 20 minutes. And then after that time is up, I check the hair every five minutes to see how it's lifting and see what level it's at. After you do someone's hair many times, you kind of learn how their hair processes and you get a good time and rhythm down for how long the bleach needs to be on their hair for. How long you leave lightener on someone's hair is very versatile and different for everyone. It is not a one size fits all. It depends on what level their hair was before you started, along with many other factors. I'm just trying to give you guys tips because I know a lot of you guys do your hair at home or do your friends or family's hair at home and you might not be licensed. So I'm trying to share some good tips with you guys that will help you guys and also like save the integrity of your friend's family's hair.
Okay, we're back. I got everything applied. I'm gonna let this sit probably like 15 to 30 minutes. I'm just gonna watch it because I don't know how fast her hair is going to lift. I'll leave it 15 minutes and then after that, I'll start checking it every five minutes. I'm also gonna put on a shower cap just to maintain the moisture and heat so that way the bleach doesn't dry out. So I'll see you guys once we have this rinsed and shampooed. I feel so awkward. <laughs> You're doing great. Because where do I look? What do I say? Do I breathe? Do I not? <laughs> Definitely breathe. All right, so I rinsed out the bleach. Here is what her hair is looking like. I just wanted to hop on here real quick and tell you what we're going to do. So I'm going to take her back to the shower and... Take you back to the shower. <laughs> I'm going to take her back to the shower and basically I've decided to pre-tone her blonde hair to match her ends. So we're wanting to go green. She has blonde here and she has blue on her ends. If I put green all over her hair right now, this is going to be very green and her ends are going to be more of a blue green. So basically what I want to do is have one even canvas color. So I'm going to pre-tone all of this blonde to match her ends so that way it's uniformly a light blue color and then I'll dye the green on top of it because we don't want different layers of different color we want it to all be the same so to do that I'm just gonna go in with kiss cyan and then I'm gonna use kiss clear and I'm just gonna make a very light blue color and I'm just gonna put this all over her head and then I'm gonna rinse it right off with cold water it doesn't need to sit in process or anything it can be on damp hair because we're basically just trying to tone the hair blue before we put green on here is the blue color it's just a very light translucent blue just to give her regrowth that blue hue for the color on her ends i am using arctic fox phantom green and then for her shadow root color i am using a mix of arctic fox phantom green mixed in with some arctic fox transylvania these are the two shades I do have a coupon code with Arctic Fox. It is just Aislinn 10 and you will get 10% off your purchase. I will leave a link to Arctic Fox's website along with my coupon code in the description box down below in case you are wanting to purchase any color. I wanted to leave this clip in because you can really see how toning her blonde hair to a more of a blue shade really helped blend in with her end color. Before it was very yellow and brassy and now it matches more with her hair overall. So we have a much better even canvas to start with. So originally I was just going to do like a basic one inch shadow root with the dark green and black combo. And then as I started applying, I decided I wanted to drag out that shadow root significantly more. The reason I decided to do this is because Mariah has very long hair and I felt like if I would have just done an inch of the darker color, it wouldn't have been seen. I really wanted there to be like a blending of the two colors and you could really see the darker green go into that lighter forest emerald green and I just figured with only applying the dark an inch you wouldn't have really seen that darker color and it would have been missed in her hair. So I wanted it to be more of like an ombre shadow root versus just a small tiny bit of that black color along her root. hair video I did with Mariah I had so many questions about these short hairs and the nape of her neck a lot of you guys were wondering if I fried her hair off you were asking why is her hair so short down there did she have an undercut that's growing out and that is exactly what it is she had an undercut and she's been working very hard on growing that out so I just wanted to address that and let you guys know that that big chunk that is shorter underneath is just her growing out a buzz cut that she had under there and I decided to apply the darker black shade all over the undercut so now I'm applying the lighter emerald green to her end color and one tip I want to share with you guys is start from the bottom up so instead of starting applying the end color at the top of her hair and then flipping that section over on the other side start at the bottom so flip all the hair over to the other side of her head and then pull down a section at a time so that way you're not 
throwing the hair over the head that already has color on it it's just so much easier and so much cleaner of an environment if you start working and applying color from the bottom sections up especially when you're doing multiple colors that way you're not worried about the colors transferring on other colors for this situation it wouldn't have been a big deal if i would have started at the top and then applied to the bottom but for situations where you're doing multiple different hair colors you don't want any of those sections to touch other sections and contaminate different colors so i just think it's easier and makes it more clean if you start at the bottom and then work your way to the top And advice I give in every video is make sure you saturate the hair really, really well and make sure you're blending the colors together. So I'm really making sure to apply a lot of color and I'm making sure to really rub the color into the hair and blend the darker green into the lighter green. The color is on. We're gonna wait an hour. Sorry I didn't talk when I was mixing it up. I'm like very exhausted and my back hurts and like she's tired and I'm tired and we're hungry and I'm sweating. So um, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna let this sit for an hour and then rinse it in cold water, no shampoo. And then we will be back once her hair is styled. So that way you guys can see what it looks like. And I'm very, very excited. Same. I can't wait. See you when we're done and it's reveal time. We're back, and this is how her hair turned out. Okay, I have to pause it right here because I have to talk about something that happened during the editing process. So after we had finished with her hair, I wanted to take some photos on my phone, and I had noticed the camera was not picking up the true color of her hair. It was making it look like a bluish, gray color and it was looking very washed out so i tried taking pictures on her phone and the same thing happened so i started panicking like i really hope my lens picked up the actual color of your hair well while editing i realized it did not pick up the actual tone and color of her hair at all so disappointing so heartbreaking to go through all this work and for you guys not to be able to see the actual true deep beautiful forest green color of her hair you might be looking at her hair and thinking it looks dingy it looks dull it looks like she's already washed it it kind of has like a bluish gray tint to it that is not how it looked in person at all i tried so many times in different lighting to take pictures on my phone so i could insert some and show you what the true beautiful deep green she had was and i could not get any pictures no camera would capture the true color so i'm going to insert some pictures that i found online that look exactly like the true color of her hair for some reason my camera would just not pick up the true color so i'm just going to insert some pictures and you guys can see what her hair actually looks like watch mariah's hair throughout the rest of this video and you will see her hair color change it gets lighter it gets darker it looks very different throughout the rest of this video so if you just watch her hair it changes and you guys will see and understand like exactly what i'm talking about it turned out better than i could have expected i thought like maybe the blue would show through a little bit more so it might be more of like a green toned blue but it turned out perfect the shadow root blends in perfectly with her end color and it looks like exactly what i had imagined in my mind and i'm so happy with it and i love like dark forest emerald green hair the baddest bitches always have that hair color <laughs> so like i love it so much while i was processing it actually looked kind of blue and then as soon as i rinsed it out you could like see how green it actually was underneath so if you do use these colors just know that it might look a little blue while processing but after you rinse it you'll see the green come through so i'm gonna go ahead and like spin her around and show you her hair That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Another hair transformation with Mariah. <laughs> Tell her in the comment down below to get her hair done more often. <laughs>
<laughs> more than once every seven months so you guys can see her more. <laughs> Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and until next time guys, <laughs> stay weird. Bye! <laughs>